hello welcome back to our channel this is dance graphics design in this tutorial i will teach you how you can design this birthday flyer just with the help of your android smartphone without wasting much of your time let's jump straight into the video okay so uh what we're going to do here is to go and start from afresh so you can see how we do this particular birthday design so um i'm going to delete this one this default text so I will proceed now to change the background size. So the first thing is to change your background size to your desired size. So I'm going to go with 1024 by 1280. So um, once you have this, it's okay for you to continue your design. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in my background. So now to bring in your background, you want to click here on this middle button. Okay, I have this background here with me and uh, though I wanted to use a more blurred one, but I think this one is still fine. So I'm going to go with this size. We're going to maintain a uh, three by four uh, aspect ratio. So crop it by three, uh, three by four. Then you click on this check mark right here and it will enable you to have this. What we're going to do is to size it up. So after sizing it up neatly to cover the entire length of your design you want to go to relate position and make sure that the background is uh, centralized after doing this you want to go now to color filters and on color filters we are going to touch the brightness a bit then we increase the contrast also just a bit so reduce the background uh, brightness a bit and uh, you know the color contrast also should be a little bit upwards once you have all of this you want to click now on your check mark and proceed to lock the background up now once you are done with that you want to go back to shapes so on shapes we are going to select a simple square shape reduce the opacity after reducing the opacity you want to increase the stroke width then increase the blur radius pinch it closely like this to create a blur effect and as you create it just increase it now in size this way once you've increased it in size you want to go back now and change the color into the same color like the background so we can go with a more darker red color like this we want the background to be a little bit blurry so once you have this make a copy of it and rotate this one then you bring it down like so now that we have all of this position neatly we are going to lock everything up then we start bringing in our images please kindly subscribe to the channel if you are joining us for the first time so this is the first image that we are bringing and i want to really congratulate 8 pm photography it's a very great guy on pinterest i get most of my birthday design uh practical pictures from there so you can see the name is 8 pm photography so please kindly check on 8 pm photography on pinterest and do well to follow their their profile on pinterest now we are going to make this one the focus of our design so i'm just going to position this one like so for now other adjustments might follow so i'm going to leave this one like so and next thing i'm going to do is to bring in uh, this particular one here so in bringing this one i would love to crop it out to make it come to focus so we can bring this one here i just love how focused the image are so that's why i had to go for this particular image a very focused and detailed though i did some little editing on this picture but they are very great they are professional so the last picture i would love us to use is this slide and i'm cropping this one just like so so in order to make everything pop out i'm going to position this one now uh, like so i'm going to try and position this one just like what you are seeing right now so um i would love to increase the size of this first one uh, again this particular one let's increase the size um, up 
Okay, let me lock these other ones. Alright, so we want this one to be the focus of our design. Alright, good. So pay attention to how we are aligning the images. All of them are somewhat aligned to the middle of our design. Alright, so once you achieve all of this, please kindly subscribe to the channel, like the video, and tell us where you are watching us from. Now, once we have this here, I uh, would love us to bring the images upwards. So we can shift it a little bit upwards, just like so. And after realizing this, click on your check mark and you are good to go. The next thing we are going to do is to select a simple shape. So we are going to bring a shape here that can enable us to write the birthday wish. So we are going to go with this one for now. Now let's turn the shape of the color of this shape into red. Then we select another square shape, which is of course a simple white. So look at what we are going to do. We are going to slant this one. Um, just want to create a nice shape here. So slant it this way. Now make a copy. And uh, let's see. So we are going to slant this one. Okay. Okay. So this is what we want to achieve. Let me see. All right, get now go to your layer, select all. So select everything. There are three shapes. Match them up all together. And after matching them up, you want to go to your erase color option and you know do away with the white color. So we have this one now. And you can reduce the size a bit, then position it here neatly. Uh, let's change the color pure red then we are going to make a copy and um, let's bring it up a bit we're going to make a copy here and for this one we should give it a white color so we're going to give this one uh, a white color then you can see okay for the downer shape I think the red there should be a little bit darker so let's check and see okay yeah good so this is fine um, all right now after realizing all of this lock this up when you do this okay so when you do this you realize that this portion the chair on which the lady is sitting is having a brown color and we don't want that to show. So we are simply going to copy one of these blur that we created and you know just drag it and position it like so. So you can see that we are done with that uh, that chair, we've hidden it, okay? So now uh, the next thing we are going to do is to write the name. So it's precious. I'm just going to write a simple letter P. Take note of how I'm going to do this. And for the color, I want to go with this dark blue color. Um, dark blue color. All right, let me just increase the size a bit so I can move it easily. So I bring it here and I change the color into dark blue. So the dark blue color, you can quickly pick it up from the color of the lady, lady's cloth. Okay, then you just make it like so make it dark blue color so there are no worries at all now i'm going to go to my fonts and the name of the font we are using for this is amsterdam 4 as a script font so let's go to paddling and paddle it up okay paddling means part of the text was hidden so we're going to maintain this okay now we can even reduce the size a bit Then what we're going to do now is to copy and write the com and complete the spelling. I hope let me just spare everything so I don't miss it. So let, let's spare precious. After spelling precious, remove the letter P and you are left with this. So bring it here. So have precious. Now go to layer, lock everything up. After logging it up, go back to text and write wishing you. 
good health and God's blessings. Please kindly subscribe to the channel as you follow the video. Wishing you good health and God's blessings. So I'm going to reduce this one. Give it the same dark blue color. Let's make it all in caps. Capital letters. Then go to your font and the font I'm using is called the Roxford Sands Light font. Okay, so as for the line spacing, we can reduce the line spacing between the text a bit. And yeah, so uh, it, it, it's good. It's moving well. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to write the date. For the date, it should fall here. Um, I'm going to copy one of these fading effects again so um first of all going to reduce the size then undo its rotation so quickly position this one here okay so we just want a situation where um it can be bright enough that the text we are putting there can be visible so let's go change the color into the dark um blue as well then we reduce the opacity of this did you see that so just one um, we can reduce the opacity further okay so that that text can be showing centralize you might even want to centralize this good now after realizing this we are going to write the date and it's of course coming up on the 10th of may 2025 thank you so much if you have watched the video to this point kindly subscribe to the channel now we we want to change the color of this into white increase it a bit in size and um, use little position to make sure it's on the middle shift it a little bit upwards after realizing this uh, we can go further to increase the spacing and see how this looks like so we can reduce it we can be reducing this the size and increasing the spacing well i think this is good but let's reduce the spacing a bit so leave it just to about 70 percent then go to your textiles and bold this up so this is the bold option letter b yeah and we leave that for that centralize it and bring it down a bit now make a copy of this and write happy belated birthday birthday and uh, make sure that this is in capital letters then we are going to leave this one just right here on this upper section go to your spacing and space this out completely using relative position make sure it's stuck to the middle and you are good with that so now that we are done with the pixel lab process we are going to first of all add some glow effect into this design and we're going to do an, a simple editing so the first thing we're going to do is to save the work um, we want to save the work so let's save Now that our design is saved, the next application we are going to launch is called Snapseed. Okay guys, so the next thing we are going to do is to go to Snapseed. So if you don't have Snapseed, kindly download it from Play Store. Once you are there, you sign in and you log in. Just click on this plus button, select your design. And we are going to click on Tools, then we go to Twin Image. The first thing is to reduce the brightness a bit because um, it, it looks brighter. Then let's increase the contrast after increasing the contrast to about 45 percent uh, don't touch saturation the ambience uh, we can you see we can reduce the ambience increase the ambience so let's reduce the ambience a bit then the highlights increase the highlights uh, to about 16 
then the shadows we are going to reduce the shadow okay to make the design sharp enough then the warmness we are equally going to reduce the warmness a bit so once you do that you want to click here on the check mark and then you come to details so let's see the structure increase the structure a bit then go to sharpening and you know sharpen it also just a bit if you realize all of this you want to click now on export so i done with snapseed click on export and it's safe so the last thing we are going to do now is to add some glow effects into the design all right so how can we do that we're going to go to pix art okay guys so welcome to pixart we're going to add glow effect in the design if you don't have pixart also still download it from play store sign in and click on this plus button then select your design after selecting your design go to add photo then click on um, the folder that has your lens effect so for me i downloaded it from pinterest you can search for lens effect on pinterest you will see something like this or light effects so we are going to use this to give the design some glow just increase it a bit then go to blending options click on screen now you have this so i'm going to size this up neatly bring it here okay make sure that the the, the objective here is to make sure that this reflection this light reflection at least shows on all the faces of the image so once you have this you want to go now on on eraser so let me show you the eraser option once you click on blending and screen click here now on eraser we're going to erase part of this so we're going to start here we don't want it to show on the face or on the body you have this okay um so we have another one here just a race okay so let's see you can increase it again and go and do the same repeat the same process we're going to be reducing um, okay good so let's reduce erase part of it that's on the hand all right so we bring it here increase it a bit so we have this and we are going to click now on opacity so just click on opacity now you're going to reduce the opacity a bit to just about 61 percent and you click on the check mark so you can see your work now in order to download this we are going to click here and it's downloaded so this is your work added some lens effect on it using pixart and did some editing on um, the two designs so this is this is the one that we edited and uh, this is the one that we designed from pixel app so you can see the differences all right they are very great differences the work of pixel lab so with the lens effect it depends on you if you want you can add if you don't want you can leave it like this okay it all depends on you all right so guys that's how you can design a birthday flyer on pixel lab and two other powerful applications snaps it and pixel thank you so much for watching the video kindly subscribe to the channel and i'm hoping to see you in our next video god bless you